political parties, the core of the political parties are the people. You heard Senator Dillon say, in 2017, we got 9% of the vote in Bangsaw, right? This time around, with the support of the core of Ben Bassa politics, we jump from 9 to 34 percent. And that's more jumping. And also, Senator Dillon told you you are discouraged by our calculation. We won almost in every district in Monserrado County. Yes. Even in their strongholds, we double our votes there. Yes. And they did not double their votes. But today we have the substantive ALP with us. The majority members of the ALP Executive Committee and the ALP membership. And, and, thank you. Thank you. And they are here to declare to you that whatever will be done tomorrow or wherever under the Sakamo tree is here by declaring null and void. It's not important. At this time, we want to welcome the national chairman, the national chairman of the All Liberian Party, Kyoto JSB Momo. Of Bapolu County. Yeah. Mimo, you welcome, sir. Thank you. Have a seat. Thank you. Because of the time, we let to recognize the presence of all of you leaders that are here, leaders of the rescue team and fellow citizens and party. We have from the all that we are part of the ALP, many of our leaders that are still in group, but we have to hurry up. Here to, uh, to come yeah. for this occasion yeah. so that we will clarify something go back to the that is special the 14th of November 2020. and here today so speaking of this is Joseph Miller Joseph Miller is the Secretary General of the Secretary of the Chapter of the ARP <laughs> next is Paris is El Elijah Saki this is our assistant Secretary for Political Affairs. <laughs> Next to him is Paris Tano Jagwe. Paris Tano Jagwe is the Assistant Secretary for Mobilization and Recruitment. Standing next to him and right behind me is Paris George S. Gomoy. Don't see him, young lady, he's the chairman of the Chief and Elder Council. Behind me in the red t-shirt is a man who is the godfather of the National Headquarters. He is the Moses George, the Deputy Secretary for Administration. Then we have Paris in Janine Moore. Paris in Moore is a member of the National Executive Committee. We have Paris in Charles Ferguson, who is the chairman of the committee on uh, business and corporate affairs and fiscal affairs. That's a big committee. Everybody knows about money. And as if to say, the plan is to his right is Paris in Joseph Tome, the national treasurer. The rest of the leaders will be joining us here, and when we arrange and formalize the protocol 
from the Unity Party, there will be an official endorsement program for the rest of the show. us here today. We have to rush here today to issue a special press statement because tomorrow there is supposed to be an endorsement, quote unquote endorsement program at the headquarters of our party. A fortnight ago we have established very strong contact with Ambassador Bokai of the rescue mission indicating to him the decision of the majority members of the executive committee and national leadership of the party to endorse and work with the rescue mission. leadership of the AOP 
including both statutory and non-statutory members of the EC, county leaders, among others, have acted in accordance with the constitution of the party by affixing their signatures to an official resolution signed and notarized as required by law to support and endorse Ambassador Joseph Yuma Boaka and the rest of the Here in my hand is that official resolution which is notarized. So we are acting legally. We are not hiding behind the curtain. This resolution has officially been transmitted to the political leader of Berlin and W. Yuri as the only valid and legitimate decision of the national leadership of the party regarding the ALP's participation in a runoff. The fight is when the ALP is not feeding a candidate in a presidential election, such as the runoff of 2023, it is unfair for anyone to infringe on the democratic rights of the partisans by imposing an endorsement upon them against their own will and aspirations. We urge all of our partisans across the country to remain steadfast and engage with the majority leadership as we together work for a better leadership of our country that will help improve the means to reach unimproved ends in our country. We well, thank you. So, so we we'll like to, as we have issued this press statement, indicative of our decision, and as part of our annual engagement with Ambassador Boakai, that we are definitively clear on this decision. We want to present this statement to the leadership of the rescue mission as our position statement. And then the illegal endorsement program that will be here tomorrow at the ALP headquarters. The leaders of the executive committee, the coordinator council, have all decided to broker out that program and they are with us on the rescue mission. I saw some news. So at the, at the appropriate time, when Ambassador Boyka comes by, we will organize an official program. And we will officially endorse